Well, I figured if I were going to start a YouTube channel that I should probably introduce myself. On this channel, I'm gonna primarily talk about uh, I racing. I built a simulator, which you can see behind me, that I've been using for several months now. I'd always wanted to make one, but it took me quite a bit of time to get the pieces together and to actually pull the trigger. Now I can imagine that a talk like this may bore some of you, so I figured that I would do some test driving. I'm currently learning the Red Bull Ring in Austria for the LMP2 series this week. Now this won't be a race, but this will be a live insight as to how I learned the track Now we're going to do some laps here at Red Bull Ring and the Dallara LMP2. I haven't spent much time here, but it's safe to say that this track is absolutely stunning. Did a fantastic job with the scenery and the elevation changes. Now a few quick notes for myself and for those that are watching is that I've realized that first gear acts rather strangely and that it's easy to get the car spun around if you're too heavy on the accelerator. The first lap around, took it nice and slow. Raised some of those temperatures throughout the car. We're also still getting adjusted. And attempting to learn the circuit. I have driven laps around here, but only on controller on F1 2021. Ooh, when we go off. You need to slow down if you don't want a penalty. I also don't quite understand how brake bias affects this car quite yet. And that's something that I most certainly do need to do some testing on. But most importantly, I need to understand how the car feels itself. That might be a little narrow there. You've come to understand that you have to take this a little late. You can carry more speed through here than you think. This is earlier than you think. That's faster than you think. There's things like that that allow you to learn the track. And you know, reading it out loud to yourself. Break it to 120, second gear. Back on the throttle. Someone made a mess with the cones. That felt quick. Sector two time is okay. Oi. Lost some time there. What do we put down? P2 
My passion for racing, it, it's been part of me for over a decade now. Now while I wish that I drove real cars and, and participated in racing events, uh, it's not always possible. When I was around 12, I purchased my first car. Look at that. Boy. Or at least my father bought my car. And my brother and myself raced Rotax, I believe it was four years. So what happened was I pressed the brake very hard. I broke at the 100 and I smashed the brake because I'm trying to overcompensate for the fear that I have that I'm going too fast. So now I'm doing it again. But the biggest thing about racing that may be overlooked is racecraft and the mind that it takes to perform well. Because this sport is just like others, where if you aren't committed, structured, consistent, you won't do well. The consequences of mistakes in racing are much more drastic than they may be in other sports. It's a sport that requires precision. I spent a lot of time driving the Miata, the GR86, and the introductory formula vehicles. After a season of GT4, I think it is time for me to start driving faster cars. Now, while the racing in faster cars is said to be a little bit more boring, I'm seeking to feel what it is like to drive extremely fast. I recently purchased the LMP2. I have the plans of driving the 24 hours of Daytona in January. In 2023, I wasn't able to make any of the special events that iRacing hosted, including the eight hours of Fuji, which just occurred. Endurance racing has been something that I've had my eyes on since I committed to building a sim racing rig. But the beauty with endurance racing is that anything can happen. There are so many factors that can determine who finishes on top that can be out of your control. It's a mental challenge. And so it's been it's become my goal to to do these types of races and to try to do them well. Or I haven't tried them before. Let's see if we can try to do a little bit of a push lap. I've done a few laps, but I'm I'm struggling to find any consistency as I learn the car a bit. See, it's interesting how how traction control kicks in there, and it really unsettles the acceleration of the car. A little loose there. Try to wait here. Stay on the brakes. Late here. Get on the brakes. I think that's the idea. Something like that. Late here. So that's a 122.7. It's okay. It's fast. Er. I wouldn't say that I'm the most successful racer in, in sim racing. I only have 12 or 13 wins, but I am relatively consistent with sitting in the top 10, let's say. We're evolving, I'm getting faster here. Mm. 
see I'm saving time. I'm getting faster, but I'll have a lot of off tracks. a nasty hit. So I just want to thank you guys for sticking around and watching the video up until this point. See you next time. Cheers.